breaking bombshell. Someone's been killed. Just confirmed. Another day and another dead body with a connection that cannot be ignored as Hillary Clinton's body count seems to be on the rise once again. The latest is possibly the most shocking yet in the truly startling trail of dead bodies that keep accumulating around this crooked woman with major secrets she's desperate to keep hidden no matter who has she has to kill off to ensure it. However, this most recent killing will likely be her last after what a fusion GPS rep revealed. The obvious bias in the crooked Hillary Clinton email investigation which was shown by the now embattled former FBI director James Comey, his right-hand man Andrew McCabe and the now disgraced bureau agent Peter Strzok who sent over 10k texts to his mistress with messages showing disdain towards candidate Trump while pledging to not let crooked Hillary lose the 2016 election, have all made incalculable damage to the federal law enforcement agency's reputation damage which is unrepairable. Up until now the fallout has gone as far as to implicate the FBI in the now infamous work of fiction which is the Fusion GPS anti-Trump dossier which has led McCabe and James Baker, to either announce early retirements, or to be reassigned. However now, someone has already been killed over this very controversial move. Fox News reports. An attorney for the co-founder of opposition research firm Fusion GPS revealed during a closed-door interview this summer with congressional investigators that somebody's already been killed as a result of the publication of the anti-Trump dossier. The statement was contained in a 312-page transcript of Fusion GPS co-founder Glenn Simpson's August interview with committee investigators, released unilaterally Tuesday by Senate Judiciary Committee Ranking Member Dianne Feinstein. Democrat California. The release itself provoked controversy, with an aide to Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, Republican Iowa, calling it confounding for Feinstein to drop the transcript in the middle of an ongoing investigation. Among the many revelations in the document, though, is the claim from Simpson's attorney that someone died because the dossier, which was commissioned by Fusion GPS, was publicly released. He wants to be very careful to protect his sources, Attorney Josh Levy said during the August 22 Senate Judiciary Committee interview of his client. Somebody's already been killed as a result of the publication of this dossier and no harm should come to anybody related to this honest work. Levy didn't elaborate on who was killed. The website BuzzFeed first published the dossier online last January, airing its unverified allegations about President Trump's connections with Russia. The dossier was written by former British MI6 agent Christopher Steele. Fusion GPS, which hired Steele, got funding from the Clinton Campaign and Democratic National Committee. Trump has long derided the dossier as politically motivated and several GOP-led committees are investigating whether it formed the basis for the FBI's initial investigation into Russian election interference. Feinstein said in a statement she released the transcript to combat misinformation about the interview. The innuendo and misinformation circulating about the transcript are part of a deeply troubling effort to undermine the investigation into potential collusion and obstruction of justice, Feinstein said in a statement. The only way to set the record straight is to make the transcript public. Well, Feinstein, now with that being the case it looks like it backfired on you and only proved Trump to be ten times more truthful that the corrupt party the Clintons have been running and killing in four years. This latest assertion that someone has now been killed over the dossier could and should very well be the smoking gun we've been waiting for, which Trump knew was coming. President Trump previously blasted Andrew McCabe for his obvious corruption and went as far as accusing him of running the clock in order to retire with full benefits with only 90 days to go. This guy shouldn't be retiring, he should be in federal prison. However, it's still a better gesture than being killed for your involvement in the corruption. The swamp seems to be draining itself just as Trump promised it would and we needed him in office as a non-career and non-corrupt politician to do it. He can't be bought off and now everything is catching up with the Clintons as it should have way before now. But as for the FBI, they are so far gone that the best course of action might be just to disband it and start a new organization. 
Please share if you agree the FBI needs to be disbanded ASAP and Hillary Clinton needs to be locked up once and for all before anyone else is found dead. Dead.